Hey YouTube! This is Lord Alex. I was just doing a video on my favorite fire starter. This stuff here. It's good stuff. Pick some up. And I wanted to uh, debunk a myth. Put it to rest. This is the myth about Bic lighters. Or any lighters for that matter. Uh, I'm not going to go into Zippos and things like that. But this is mainly for Bic lighters. Because I see so much stuff on the internet saying Oh yeah, don't carry a light a lighter in your uh, your fire kit because if it gets wet it's no good anymore. Lighters no good if it gets wet. Lighters don't work after they get wet. That's not true. You don't have to have a ferro rod. If you carry one of these it's gonna work. Now the crappy clear ones I wouldn't suggest. Those have a tendency of breaking, leaking, exploding, not lighting when they need to or staying lit after you let go of the button. I mean they're so cheaply made Get one of these or a clipper. Good quality stuff. I carry Bic because clippers are hard to come by where I live. I'm going to show you something I learned in Jamaica. Okay? People in Jamaica, they do a lot of living off the land type stuff just because they don't have any money. So, if their lighter gets wet, they need to smoke their spliff, man. So, they've got to figure out how to get their fire going. I'm going to show you here. This is an ashtray. And it's full of water. Lighter works just fine. It's dry. Works just fine. It's in the water. I just fell in the river. Or I had to cross the river or whatever. Oh no. My lighter's wet. It's been rained on. What am I going to do? I can never have a fire again, right? No, that's crap. A couple things you need to do. First you blow it out. Second, you need a dry piece of cloth. Whether it's your pants, your shirt, something you have in your bag, a towel, uh, something. Okay, first, blow it out. You want to get all that water out of where the uh, butane comes out and from around the striker and around the flint. Now, dry it off a little bit. After stuff has stopped flying out when you blow on it, you want to run it onto your towel or your jeans or a t-shirt or whatever you have. Normally you strike it like this. You don't want to go against that way because this the striker here is directional. So you want to strike it the same way. Get a piece of dry something and you run it across there. Just like that. Blow it out some more. And run it across there. Oh, see it's sparking again. It's almost there. Look at that. Whoever said a big doesn't work after it gets wet? That's ridiculous. See? Good as new. That took, well, this video is uh, about four minutes long now. So uh, I'd say about two minutes. And my ladder works again. Don't let anybody tell you these things aren't any good for carrying, starting a fire. This is the easiest way to start a fire, period. You put that with some of these. You're getting a fire started. That's, a, that's all. You don't even have, know how to make a fire. One of these and this, and you got a fire. For uh, ferro rods, blast match is the way to go. You get very hot spark. You get them all in the one spot. You don't have to worry about flinging stuff around and, and knocking your tinder everywhere. And if you don't have one, pick one up. I think they're about twenty bucks. This is a knockoff. I think I paid about seven dollars for it. See how thick that? I mean, it's huge. The real ones and the fake ones have these huge, huge ferro rods in there. There's a piece of metal inside here. All you do is push on here and bring this down, and it makes sparks. I mean, it makes sparks everywhere. All right, so there's my video. Wet bics do work. You just got to know how to use it. Thumbs up. Thanks for watching. 
rate, comment, subscribe, blah, 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 blah. You know the drill.